the distrust between genders have gotten out of hand things have spiraled out of control and it will only continue to do so recently a tv host came on her show and said that she wouldn't let her husband but her daughter in as much as i frown upon this statement i am pleased that it's allowing us have this conversation that we have been so scared to have there's so many people who share the same sentiments as this woman with the news we hear every day of fathers sexually abusing their daughters it seems like women have not taken it upon themselves to actually prevent any situation that might encourage abuse but this approach is wrong it makes it worse because it deprives children of touch that has no sexual innuendos touches with no sexual innuendos fosters intimacy and bond between fathers and children letting that daughter know that she is in a safe space and not every male touch is sexual but because of the secondary trauma many people are traumatized and have serious anxiety when you hear the sexual abuse stories every single day you see them everywhere there is no way that you would not suffer from some sort of paranoia this is something that a lot of nigerian women suffer from our life begin to revolve around some sort of impending violence it's impossible for you to trust the other person when you believe that they are capable of the work sadly this has also gotten into the family institution this distrust born out of fear of what we've experienced or what we've heard makes it very difficult for us to trust our partners but this is a cycle that we must break because even our grandparents went through it our parents went through it we cannot continue this cycle but we cannot break this cycle if we are not ready to talk about these issues if we're not ready to talk about this fear and hurt we carry inside it needs to be discussed so many Many people are suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. Either we hear fathers seeking for paternity tests with every child or mothers are saying that they do not want their husbands to bat their daughter. It is problematic when we have a family institution where people are trying to connect intimately but have serious trust issues because they see the absolute worst in the other person you are not building a home where a child is going to be groomed in the best possible way the distrust between genders have gotten out of hand things have spiraled out of control and it will only continue to do so until we begin to talk about these things if we refuse to share what we are going through and look for ways to heal there will be no way that we can have a family institution between a man and a woman and both of them would completely trust each other there are many fathers that baited and continue to bait their daughters and derive joy in doing this they see it as a responsibility that they have to do as a parent there are also many daughters that treasure this moment that they have with their fathers we cannot continue to view the world through the lens of violence and try to sexualize every single touch or interaction between a man and a girl a child can be and should be baited by an adult till an age appropriate time a father should be able to scrub the leg the arm the back and all of that of their daughter and by the time the child is three or four they should still be able to bat the daughter but now insist that the daughter washes her private part by herself you're actually teaching your child that you respect their privacy and you're teaching them about consent bad time should be a teachable moment that is the time where you teach them that nobody should touch them in certain places and you teach them that their body belongs to them by the time the child is seven to eight years old except the person is disabled or suffering from some certain ailment they should be able to bat themselves so this shows that you actually respect their privacy as a parent having appropriate and affectionate touch by a trusted person will let the child know what is appropriate and inappropriate and teach them what to expect and what not to allow from other people people who abuse kids do not need to do this in the bathroom only the idea that a man bats his daughter would tempt him is flawed because it positions pedophilia as something that people dabble in and out because of a situation they find themselves which is not true but when we look at it from that lens it means that it takes responsibility away from them and puts it on the child the child has to be the one to do a certain thing to prevent rape if you have a partner that you believe deep down is capable of abusing your daughter you need to ask yourself why you are still with this person and worse why you continue to explain 
expose your daughter to this kind of abuse if this fear that you have is something that creeps in when you read a book or when you watch the news then you need to talk to someone about how you feel you need to speak to your partner about that certain anxiety that you feel you cannot continue to internalize these feelings because it would manifest in another way we need to at least try to build a home that is built on trust and security if we are all scared to send our daughters into the wider society because we hear of all the horrific things our home should be the safe heaven for our daughters